The Lagos State Police Command has arrested a teacher, Chooks Igbani, for allegedly brutalizing a pupil in the Igboroshun area of Badagri. A clip that went viral on the social media reveals Igbani beating the pupil aggressively with a cane and pushing her against some furniture. The State Police Public Relations Officer, Bala El Kana, said the teacher was arrested on Wednesday and will be charged. The Public Affairs Officer, Ministry of Education, Kao De Abayomi, said the government had sent a team to investigate the incident. And joining me live in the studio to discuss this further is uh, an educationist in the person of Helen Oshikoya. Thank you for joining us this morning, Helen. Thank you for having me. Now, this is the second re recent case of child brutalization that was brought to light via social media. And in the sense, it, it is bittersweet. Sweet because the effectiveness of social media and bitter because a child has been brutalized. Let's start with this. Well, it depends on what you call by brutalization. Yeah. And that's one aspect. And the second aspect is, what is the duty of care that the teacher has towards the child? Now, in law, it says that anything that happens in your premises while you're in school, the school is responsible. We've always had a um, sort of like a system of punishment. Okay. Sometimes it's extended, or sometimes it's not um, done when it, the way it's supposed to be done. Now, the issue really here is, what do we consider as brutalization? Okay. And to what extent the act is considered as brutalization? So can we, can we, can we draw the line then? When, 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 is it, when does it become brutalization? Because I'm personally of the opinion that I, I didn't send my work to school to be, to be beaten okay. by any teacher, regardless okay. of what it is okay. he or she does. And so for me, simply the lifting of a cane against my word, I, I consider it offensive. Good. So where do we draw the line? Okay, so when we're looking at brutalization, we look at extent. What is the extent? Okay. What, what, what right does the child have, or what right does the teacher. teacher have to physically reprimand a child? Yes. Some schools allow it. So you now have to find Is that, it right? Mm -mm, the question is, if it is a policy in the school yes. that it's being done, it is for the government to now say that policy is an infringement. If you have a policy of reprimanding children in a school and nobody stops you, the teacher obviously feels it's their right to physically, you know, hit the child. Reprimand the child. But you are an educationist. Yes. Would you subscribe to such policy of reprimanding a child physically? You see, the thing about it is that it's, it goes by what is the culture Okay. in that particular environment. When I was growing up, a teacher could reprimand us physically or with corporal punishment. It was acceptable. Now, in that environment, yeah. is it acceptable in not only in that school, but in other schools around? So it goes beyond the immediate situation. We now have to ask the government, how many times have they gone round to find out what is the policy on punishment? Now it's gone viral. Yes. Everybody's seen it. Do you know how many times it must be happening that it didn't go viral? So the government themselves have to sit back and say, what have we allowed to operate in this place? And now put in policies to make sure it doesn't happen. The teacher has been arrested. It's just a one deterrent. It's a one sectional deterrent. Yes. So other teachers will say, Oh, I won't do that, so I won't be arrested. But it can still happen. All right, so in, in our schools especially, do, do you think we have a culture of brutalizing students in Nigeria? We have a culture of reprimanding. It's different from brutalizing. Okay. And as I said, when you consider brutalizing, it is what is the extent. So now, what is the, the extent? When, so when, does it, when does it become excess, brutalizing? Excessive force. So the evidence that we're seeing yes. in that picture, click, the judge click, will yeah. now determine, is it excessive? And if it's excessive, of course the person will be punished. But really, as sincerely speaking, if they say do frog jumps or raise your hands, some cultures, that is brutalization. Now, but it's accepted. Okay, now tell, tell us, what, what, what more can be done to actually enlighten and educate parents it, and caregivers on, on the rights and dignity of children? Because they do have some rights and dignity. It starts with the government. Right. The government has to put in proper measures to make sure we have Q&A.